plants and animals that exist in particular ecosystem are those that have been successful in adjusting to their habitats and environmental conditions, elucidate with examples. Elucidate with examples. 20 marks. So approximately about 15 minutes. 13 to 15 minutes. I want your storyline first. Point of the answer. In this question, don't give me one one word, please. Okay. It's like, you know, I have a prayer. Sasur ji, make a place for me. Asking my father-in-law, mother-in-law, make me a house. They give me one brick. Okay. They give me one wood. They say, I have a commode that I have on my roof. Okay. I need a whole place. For the place, I first need a blueprint. I first need some kind of a broad outline. Okay. So, Father-in-law ji, give me an architect drawing first. What will you give me? Ek ek word gira dete ho. Temperature. Light. Uh, biogeographical dream. Ek bhoat important aspect of your answer writing is, make your answer look smart also. So what extra points you can write down, what interesting dimensions you can write down, Taki aapka answer baki logo se alag lagega. Look like your studied geography. Think of something like life on earth is the consequence of earth as ecosystem. It's a principle that we have an ecosystem. Life is because of earth is an ecosystem. Okay. Darwinian ontology is best demonstrated in how life and life forms adjust and respond to natural physical factors. ontology? That's why I'm saying before your actual writing starts, your synopsis has to be memorized. So what you should do is in the class, get your synopsis also. So that you quickly search what What all can I bring in? If you remember, very nice. If you don't remember, fine. But keep a synopsis with you. So that you can recall, you can apply from what you have read. Okay. So the storyline, the storyline is that life forms are adjusted to environmental factors the biological and the physiological functioning is because of adjustment to the natural conditions okay plants and animals can be classified on the basis of on the basis of their response to the physical conditions. On the basis of response to the physical conditions. This is something like an introduction. You remember the hexagon we have for the factors? A light as a factor, temperature as a factor, winds as a factor, land as a factor, Water as a factor, topography as a factor. Okay. So, because of light, examples of adaptations can. We have got skiophytic. We have got phototropism as adaptation. So, diagram it all. Like discussions. Temperature may hibernation, estivation. Because of winds, we have evergreen forests on the windward side. Okay, we have got drier forests on the leeward side. Because of land and soils, the adaptations. Remember, we have got a mangrove type of forests. We have got vegetation adapted to a sandy soils. The adaptations where plants are adapted to the type of slopes. Steep slopes may different type of plants we have. Water may. Hydrophytes, halophytes, yes, 
Yes, calci holes. One type of adaptation for calcium rich soils. Correct. Water may ho jayega. And uh, topographical. We have got type of forest based on the altitude zonation. This is, this is a good diagrammatic depiction of how the physical factors impact the animal and the life form distributions. Okay. Third part will be the, the adaptation and the adjustment with the physical factors. Examples because you have a question hai, elucidate with examples, correct? So you give a list of okay, some factors and tell me what are the examples. Jesse, uh, seasonal rainfall, deciduous forests, okay, heavy rainfall throughout the year, evergreen forests. We have got uh, a snowfall. We have got coniferous uh, trees, or uh, open grasslands. We have got big game animals and carnivores. We, we can have examples of this. So give me a list of what type of physical factors and what type of life form examples. So we have got uh, saline soils and littoral locations. We have mangroves saline soils and littoral locations have mangroves correct for animals yes dense forest we have got arboreal life forms as in arboreal ka matlab hota hai life forms of the treetop the equatorial forests are examples of arboreal life forms birds and animals like monkeys and apes they climb on the trees dense forests Arboreal life form. Okay, tropical grasslands. Tropical grasslands. We will have elephants. We will have herbivores. You make a list. How are animals adjusted to the environments? We can talk about life forms. Life forms. Therefore, are functions of their habitats. Life forms, therefore, are the functions of their habitats. This is the conclusion. Now, a third part of the story will be that the life forms and the populations depend on the gradient of physical factors and adaptation to those. Life forms and their populations. They depend on the gradient of the physical factors and the adaptations to those. And the adaptations to those. The moment I say the gradient of the factors, you have the shell Ford graph, the normal bell curve. So these are the life forms which have best adaptations. These life forms, they will be under zone of stress and intolerance. Zone of stress and intolerance. The best adaptation, therefore, you have the normal curve here. The normal curve is here. Yes. Jitana broad adaptation soga, you'll have the Uri type. Narrow adaptations will have stenotypes. Correct. Adaptations, example is also remember Leibig Black Man's Law. Leibig and Blackman's law. What does it say? The factor which is least present is the most important factor. So tundra vegetation, xerophytic vegetation. Exactly. Okay. Yes, water in deserts. You understand that. Now I'm moving towards the conclusion. Conclusion. Because life forms. Are, are the product of their adaptation to environment, if the environments are dramatically and rapidly changed, okay, we can have extinctions. Okay, applied me jare. If the if the conditions are dramatically changed, are rapidly changed, we can have extinctions.
what are examples of such extinctions and change in environment? Deforestation, forest fires, construction and modification of coastal ecosystems. Global warming is an example of change of conditions. The consequence is coral bleaching. The consequence is animal-animal conflicts. If the animals can't adapt to changing environment, we will have conflicts. We can have mass extinctions. We will have modified ecosystems. So what does this mean? So preservation of life forms is best in their natural habitats to which they are best adapted. Adaptation about chhona nahi. So conservation, wildlife conservation ho, ya environmental conservation ho, it is best in natural habitats where the life forms have the best adaptations. What does this mean now? What, what am I moving towards? Biosphere-based conservation. Biosphere-based, yes, in situ conservation, correct. Biosphere-based conservation, in situ conservations. Man, okay, and biosphere program. Preservation of the gene pool centers. Avoid life forms to be moved into areas where they do not have natural enemies. Eucalyptus. adaptation So all of this together as a part of the conclusion. So start off with adaptations to environment is the norm of the nature. I use a couple of smart words. Then I give you examples of kaha ka adaptations hai in a diagrammatic fashion. Then I give you some list of some names because question bhi pucha hai, elucidate with examples. Then discussion towards the graphs to show how adaptation is visible. Then what happens okay, if I disrupt this relationship? Finally, conclusion in terms of conservation.